I'm Alan Avera, and I'm Adjunct Professor of Pastoral Ministry and Church Vitality, and I'm really excited this uh, coming semester to be teaching with my good friend, Dr. Tom Hawks, who is Adjunct Professor of uh, Church Planting at Erskine. Between the two of us, we have decades of experience in pastoral ministry, in church planting, and in church renewal. Now, why is this class important? It's important for fulfillment of the Great Commission, the God's overall plan in the world. You see, the Great Commission calls us to go and make disciples. And the making disciples, we baptize them and teaching them to obey everything that Jesus has commanded. Now, that's more than just evangelism, making disciples, and it requires the church because baptism, where are the sacraments? They are in the local church. And it's beyond just teaching the basics of the gospel. It's teaching to obey all that Jesus has commanded. And where does that deep teaching take place? It takes place in a local church. So the local church is at the heart of God's plan in the world as revealed by the Great Commission. But then why is there a need for this specific course? Well, because there are a growing number of people both in our world and in the United States. By the year uh, 2040, there will be 1.2 billion new people in the world. And there will be 32 new million people in the United States. And many of those aren't gonna look like the people that are in our churches now. A lot of them are gonna be immigrants coming from different backgrounds. So we need to be preparing the church for the future and for extending the Great Commission to the new people that are coming in. But now, how's the church doing in North America? Well, the good news is that uh, we are planting churches and seeing new churches formed. But the bad news is that churches are closing all over this country. And in fact, every year we're losing 1,500 net churches each year. So we need church planting and we need church renewal, both to bring in new churches and to try to help churches increase their ministry vitality so they are not closing. Now, what are some things that you're gonna learn in this course? Well, you're gonna learn biblical and theological backgrounds for both church planting and for church renewal. You will be learning a little bit about personal renewal and corporate renewal. You'll learn uh, dynamics of being a reformed church planter. And also, what are the competencies that are needed to be a church planter or a church revitalization pastor? And how can you self-evaluate whether you fit into one of those roles? And then you'll be learning how to go into the community, understand sociological factors, and then how to take the means of grace into the community and connect people in the community with the means of grace so that they come into the church and grow as disciples of Jesus Christ. Now, why is this important for you personally? It's important for you personally that in your ministry, you are most likely at some point going to be serving either in a church plant or in a church revitalization situation. And we need to be equipping you for the type church that you're probably going to serve in the future. I think a lot of people coming into seminary have great plans of how they're gonna go into the church that's got multiple staff and that's already healthy and moving forward. That's not the reality that most people are gonna face. So we wanna equip you for the reality of what's gonna look like to serve in ministry in today's church.